This is question 17 of 2016 AMC 12B. And, I, and as I was doing this problem a few hours earlier, I thought this problem was an excellent practice to practice our angle bisector theorem. And angle bisector theorem states when you have a triangle and you have an angle bisector which divides the angle perfectly in half, and let's call this side A and let's call this side B. And let's say this thing has been divided into X and Y. Angle bisector theorem tells you X divided by Y is equal to A divided by B. And I have not made any video on proving this and I think I will in the future. So let's get right into it. In ABC shown in the figure, AB is equal to 7, BC is equal to 8, and CA is equal to 9, and AH is altitude, so this thing is 90 degrees. Points D and E lie on sides AC and AB respectively. There's point D, there's point E, such that BD and CE are angle bisectors. So BD is angle bisector, CE is angle bisector. Ooh, you can, you can tell angle bisector theorem coming soon. Intersecting AH at P and Q. Interesting. What is PQ? So you want to find this length and you are done. <laughs> Obviously, it's not going to be done anytime soon. So, so let's get into it. How I did it, I started by finding the altitude length. I started by finding the height. And how I did it, you know base times height divided by 2 is going to get you the area of the triangle. So you know the area is equal to 8 times h divided by 4, uh, divided by 2. So 8 times h divided by 2 or 4h. Now I found the area using another method called Heron's formula. Called the Heron's formula. And Heron's formula states that area of a triangle is equal to square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c, where s is semi-parameter, it's parameter divided by 2. And parameter of this triangle is 8 plus 9 plus 7, which is 24. So dividing that by 2 gets you 12. So putting it in into Heron's formula gets you area of the triangle is square root of 12 times 12 minus side A. A, B, and C are the size of the triangle. So 12 minus 9, which is 3. 12 minus 8, which is 4. 12 minus 7, which is 5. And this is square root of 60 and 12, so 720, which is, let's take 36 out, 6 times square root of 20, let's get 4 out, 12 times square root of 5. So area of our triangle is 12 times square root of 5. So we can now find the height. So this thing is equal to 12 times square root of 5. So our height is equal to 3 times square root of 5. Okay, so you know the entire length AH, you want to find a part of it PQ. Okay, so now let's try to uh, concentrate on some triangles and apply angle bisector theorem and see if we can discover any other partial parts of AH. So let's look at triangle ACH. So now let's look at this triangle ACH, the one that I'm highlighting in red. So ACH, when you look at this triangle, uh, you have an angle bisector, CP, going through, intersecting the triangle at P. So we can apply angle bisector theorem, but you need to know what CH is before we can apply it. So how can you find the CH? And looking at this, I see a right triangle. Let me, another right triangle, ACH. So the, this entire thing is another right triangle. So we can use Pythagorean theorem, since we know two legs of the triangle, to two sides of the triangle to find CH. So you know 9 squared is equal to 3 times square root of 5, 5 squared, which is 9 times 5, 45, plus this side, this side squared. We, so S squared is equal to 81 minus 45, or 36. So our S is equal to 6. So this side is equal to 6. So now we can apply our angle bisector theorem to triangle ACH. So ACH, which was the same triangle. I'm sorry if I said different triangle. Okay, so we have 9 divided by 6 is equal to AP. Let's call AP to be X and PH to be Y. So X over Y. And we also know the entire distance X plus Y is equal to 3 times square root of 5. So let's try to find X and Y. So you know x is equal to 3 halves y from this expression. And using this, you know 5 halves y is equal to 3 
times square root of 5. So y is equal to 6 over 5 times square root of 5. So our y is equal to 6 over 5 times square root of 5. Interesting. Now can we look at any other any other triangle where we can apply this? And I realize you can, you can look at this triangle, triangle AHB. Because you have angle bisector right here, you can apply this again. So how I'm going to apply it? I'm going to now let, let A or this distance be A and this distance be B. So now let's apply it. We have, since this thing is 6, you know this distance is 2. That's good to know because so we can apply our angle bisector theorem. 7 over 2 is equal to A over B. And we also have A plus B is also equal to 3 times square root of 5. And our A is equal to 7 over 2 times B. So using this, you have 9 halves B is equal to 3 times square root of 5, or B is equal to 2 times square root of 5 divided by 3. Okay, so you know why. You know the value of Y and you know value of B. So we can find the answer. We can find PQ. PQ is simply, PQ is this distance, which is exactly Y minus B. And our Y is 6 over 5 times square root of 5. Our B is 2 times square root of 5 over 3. So let's get a common denominator of 15. And you have 30 square root of 5 minus 10 square root of 5, which is equal to 20 times square root of 5 over 15. Am I doing this right? No, it's actually 18 times square root of 5. I was like, that's not in the answer choice. Something has to be wrong. It's uh, you, I got the common denominator right, but that's 18 times square root of 5 minus 10 times square root of 5, which comes out to be 8 times square root of 5 divided by 15. And here it is, our answer. Our answer is D, and that's it.